Okay, Itamic says it's a good day. It is noon time on Wednesday, July 25th, 2018, in the lunar cycle Okonokist Otsitsitsp, when the um, Saskatoon berries ripen. And I'm on my way to the Sunridge neighborhood where there is a rattlesnake basking bes beside somebody's uh, backyard deck. Now this was a residence that I visited yesterday. Yesterday was just full of uh, critter glitches. <laughs> I started off the day with a skunk um, call and when I got there the skunk turned out to just be a, a, a kitty cat. Um, then I had two rattlesnake calls, one at the beginning of the day, one at, toward the end of the day, both um, off of University Drive regarding a, a rattlesnake that was coiled beside the road on University Drive by the University Stadium. Now I don't know why he would, might be trying to cross the road there. Fortunately it doesn't seem that he was hit because in both cases uh, the snake had departed before you know before I got there. Um, and then I had this call uh, to visit this guy in Sunridge who has a rattlesnake that slipped under his deck and yesterday when I visited it had already gone under the deck before I got there and it was it's it's a pretty large platform and there's some garden boxes attached to it and there was no way we're getting the snake you know unless we're gonna disassemble the whole deck so I just advised him um, to, to pay attention for a day or two and uh, see if he can catch the snake basking he's got some reptile experience himself so um, he was okay with that, although he is nervous. He's got a little dog. He's got a pregnant wife and all of this. So going back that way, this morning I had another kind of a dud call. Um, it, was a, it was a skunk call. The city was doing some construction on the north side, and one of the trenches that they had dug, a skunk got pushed into there, or, or a baby skunk fell into there, uh, got caught, and they wanted it removed. But again, by the time I got there, the situation had already settled itself. They had managed to use a tool to help it uh, lift it out of there, and the skunk ran away. So, yeah, I've had a, I've had a pretty, although I've had calls, I've had a pretty quiet couple of days. No real engagement with the wildlife. Um, but now, hopefully, the snake is going to be there when we get there. Tell if it's still on or not. Is it recording even if the screen's dark? Yeah. Okay. You can touch it if you want to see what's going on. Oh, perfect. Okay, so keep going. He's just around that second box there. Or at least he was. very quick. Well, yeah. it did get rained on yesterday. Cute. Yeah, that was some storm yesterday. <laughs> Hello. You guys got it? Oh yeah. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so this is just a tiny little first year snake. Almost one years old in late August to probably a be a year old. I don't know, it's possible he's two, but he's very tiny. Very tiny. That little man. Alright, let's go. Let's let you go out here. Back up the hill. 
nice to finally have a snake at the end of a snake call after a couple of dead days. We'll see what the rest of this round holds. Oh yeah, I should show you this thing. Okay, it's now about 9.30 at night, and I've got a second snake call. This one takes me all the way across the west side um, toward the Blood Reserve, and there is a snake in a garage. Now this area, I kind of associate this area with Plains Garter Snakes. However, we're getting kind of close to the coolies um, adjacent to the reserve. And so we could be definitely getting into rattlesnake zone. Um, yeah, yeah, we're cl we're close enough here. Um, likelihood it's going to be a rattlesnake in the garage, but we'll see. Yeah. So is the snake exposed? Yeah, we, he was under a rack, so we pulled the rack back. And okay. Right at the front corner. Okay. Cool. Sometimes I worry about garage calls. I get some. Like crazy hoarder garages. Oh, and then you're like, what are you digging in? Well, the snake is in there somewhere. Well, the boys are like, our hockey bags are in here. I'm like, well, we're <laughs> So I'm not really too sure where this snake belongs. I mean, it belongs here somewhere, but I don't know the location of the dens close to this site. So I haven't taken her too far away. Um, just into the coulee, I'm gonna deposit her in the skunk brush, let her find her way to where she needs to be. I also don't really have enough light for a, to take a good photograph of her. Um, but she's not in my usual purview of of snake population. Like she's not in the areas where I normally pick them up. So probably I'm never going to see her again. But we'll let her off here. 
Try to stay out of people's garages. Come on. <laughs>